Happy birthday to me! <laughs>seen this type of video before it's not very new creative or anything but it's my birthday and I just wanted to do a really simple video but yeah here are 17 things that have kept me alive for these 17 years the first one theater I love theater you guys know I love theater I talk about theater a lot I I don't know it, it was really weird I was thinking of how much theater has done for me because I've done four shows or I'm in my fourth show with three different companies and from the first company, I got my best friend. From my second company, I got the girl who I'm going to prom with, plus some other lifelong friends. From the third company, I just, I get an intro into the college experience, shoot myself up when it comes to acting and, you know, actually having a big role. And I really like that. Number two is the Losers Club. The Losers Club is... Not only part of the awesome Stephen King It movie slash book, but also that's the name of my friend group at my high school because we believe that if It ever comes, that we are the ones who have to stop it. In fact, we already know who It is. If you don't know who It is, I would suggest you go back and click on that I button and watch my one of my older YouTube videos. Ugh, it's Jack, the boy from hell. He is it. Number three, 2017 slash 2018 movie selection. Like, oh my gosh, so many great movies either have come out or are coming out. Like, just to throw out a few really good examples, ones that are coming out that I can't wait for, Deadpool 2, Incredibles 2, uh, Infinity Wars, New Mutants, and movies that have already come out in the last year or so that I did absolutely love. Spider-Man Homecoming, I really loved Happy Death Day, Love, Simon was unbelievable, Pitch Perfect 3, The Greatest Showman, it's just like, wow. Just wow. Four, history quizzes, specifically my history quizzes. I'm not sure if I've done a video on them. If not, I will, but the, the challenge, and I like them, and I miss them because they make me have to work and think and use a critical analysis. It's really weird. I just really love the history quizzes. I love how they're written. I love how they challenge me. I love it. Five, PSEO and PSEO class is just a chance to, like, one, save thousands of dollars by, you know, doing classes before you actually are in college. But to just, like, the experience, the opportunity, like, and the challenge of the courses, like, I really love it. Plus the free time, next year when I go full-time PSEO, oh my gosh. Six, Evelyn, this is more of an inside joke. Evelyn, she's a member of the Losers Club. She's also a main character in the play that I am writing, titled The Losers Club. Um, it's just amazing. I wish I could go more in-depth and explain it. But um, for all of you who know Greek mythology slash Percy Jackson, you all know about Achilles slash The River Sticks. Remember how um, Percy makes Annabeth his tether when he's dipped into it, so like he isn't completely swept, completely swept away. Well, Evelyn is the losers' club, is the losers' club's tether because she is the most innocent of all of us, and it's really cute. I wish I could explain it better, but just accept it. Netflix bingeability. Oh my gosh, when there are bingeable shows on Netflix, I love it. Like I binged all of Jessica Jones season two. I'm currently binging season three of Yu-Gi-Oh. I binge watch Family Guy constantly. I binge watch all of F is for Family. I binge watch all of Friends. I binge watch all Futurama when they had it. I binge watch The Office. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Basically any bingeable, binge-worthy show on Netflix, I binge watched. Awesome musicians, really good musicians. That's another thing that's kept me alive for so long. One that I've been really into really recently is Eden, partly because I was able to go to his concert on the two year anniversary of the first day he started touring. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I'm gonna do a story time video about that because a lot of cool stuff happened there. Also, Papa Murphy's, all of you who don't know, I have worked at Papa Murphy's for about 
18, 18 months now. Obviously, I hope you know that, seeing as my Papa Murphy's videos are some of my most popular videos. Granted, they are older ones, they're ones from like last summer, because like I haven't had a chance to do any Papa Murphy's ones recently. But yeah, anyways, it's just an awesome environment. I love the people there. Actually, uh, this Tuesday will be the one year anniversary of working with Jesse. Um, who is our boss there, one-on-one -on -one friends. Those friends you don't need some, a whole group to hang out with. You don't need a plan or a party. You just hang out and it's awesome. Also those friends, like the ones that you can just randomly call, you know, have like a three-hour conversation with. Those friends are amazing. Like, oh my gosh. I literally kept me alive. So it's wonderful. I think I maybe have like three of those friends tops. But yeah, it's just awesome. Those friends are literal lifesavers. Good YouTubers. YouTubers that I can just watch, I really love. Obviously, I love MatPat in both Film Theory and Game Theory. I really love watching Matt Does It and Hello X Ryan and obviously PewDiePie and Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. I also like YouTubers like The Gabby Show and Liza Koshi. Cody Ko, Drew Gooden, Danny Gonzalez. I am truly Greg. Actually, funny story, I saw Cody Ko tweeted that his merch is 20% off. I just clicked on the link, randomly, impulsively bought some of his merch. I didn't plan on it. I didn't know it was on sale. Like, okay, I'll just buy it. And I did. And I don't regret it. Sweet beverages. If you don't know, I carbonate drinks specifically. Just like, oh my gosh, I am addicted to soda. I'm addicted to like sweet tea. It is amazing. It's a problem. I really love cozy sweatshirts. As you can see, I almost always wear a sweatshirt. All my videos, cozy sweatshirts, especially ones that are a little bit too big for me, are the best thing ever. Funky socks. I have an awesome collection of funky socks. So my favorites, um, shoot. My top three favorites, probably, I have these blue ones with flamingos on them that I love so much. Uh, my friend Charlie, he got me um, mac and cheese socks from California when he was out there for a wedding. And for Christmas, one of my friends Marcus, he got me these hamburger socks. Oh my gosh, I love socks so much. I also love literature. Um, whether this is like books, plays, musicals, anything, especially when it's involved with Quiz Bowl. Oh my gosh, just like all that together, it's beautiful. I love literature, reading and stories have kept me so alive, so happy. It's just magical, it's timeless. I've always been a big reader. Less so now, in the past, I more read plays and musicals now than I read like, books. But hey, I think the point is still there. I'm still enjoying the story. Self-deprecating humor. Okay, I firmly maintain that I was depressed before it was cool, but like now that's just like generally accepted. I think that's why people like me more. Like this year, 11th grade year, I like blew up so much at the start of the year. I think it's because self-deprecating humor became so in, because I haven't changed. I've been making these jokes since, since I was a baby, but like now everyone loves them, probably because of Twitter. And last, I'm not sure how many of you know this about me, but God, I am a hardcore Christian. I love God. God has been there for me in so many ways, literally throughout my entire life. More importantly than anything else on this list, which is why I said to last, it's probably God. If it wasn't for Him, I would not be here. But yeah, so that was my quick little list of 17 things that kept me alive for 17 years. I hope you like this list. If there's like, I don't know, can you think of 17 things that have kept you alive? I bet you can't. I bet you can't. Fight me. Fight me in the comments. Okay, also don't forget to like this. Share this with anyone who you thought, oh, wow, this is an actually really good video. Don't forget to subscribe. Just subscribe. It's awesome. Subscribe to me. I am amazing. As you can see, 17. I am 17. All my social media is right here. I have an awesome new picture on my Instagram for my birthday. It is. I think that's all I need, guys. So let's have some fun and smile because now I can legally go to all movies by myself.